Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. Well, the week ahead is looking colder across New Zealand as a result of a southerly. However, it's looking also quite dry in a number of spots thanks to high pressure rolling in and also the upcoming southeasterly wind for the North Island. So this is how it looks for Monday, the animated wind map showing that southerly moving up the country. It's much colder in the South Island. The North Island's got the colder change coming. At the moment, you've got a nor'wester and that is keeping the east warm. In fact, Hawke's Bay and other eastern areas got up to 20 degrees in the low 20s on Sunday. But uh, heads up, the next few days ahead, in fact right through till Friday at least, the daytime highs tumble to just about 11 degrees. So make the most of today, it's the last warm one. Once we get to Tuesday it certainly does cool down for this eastern side. So as for Monday though, this is up until about midnight tonight, uh, it's pretty warm, 17 degrees. But this is not a temperature map, this is a rainfall map. And so the main area we're looking for is actually in central New Zealand, that's where the Heaviest rain will be, and the heaviest snow will be in the mountains in this area as well. Rainfall totals in the red area, you're looking around about 25 to maybe 45 millimetres. The, the other larger areas of green, yellow, and blue, they're the first three colours, and that's just indicating showers. So 10 millimetres at the most, but maybe only a couple of millimetres for others. It will not be much. This is the main area of rain for tonight. But like I say, the next sort of week ahead is looking quite dry. The bulk of the wet weather will be on this eastern side of the North Island. That's also where it'll be the coldest by day, with a lot of shower activity as a result of the low that's stuck in the area. But there's a big high rolling in as well, and that's coming in for the South Island to begin with, and that will bring frost back. And in the North Island, because of the southeast flow, while Tuesday may not be so flash, the rest of the week does improve for many northern and western areas. So let's get to Wednesday, and let me explain it. So the showers continue along the eastern side. It might even be rain more around Gisborne. It's kind of cold. Your highs are only around about 11 degrees, maybe a degree or so warmer if you're lucky. Southeasterlies, now that's a fairly or mostly dry wind direction. It's like a reverse nor'wester. So you end up with dry, sunny weather for these areas and the winds keep the frosts away. Daytime temperatures and overnight lows will probably be about average, if not still slightly above it. Most other places though have got colder weather in the south anyway, with frosts returning. To Thursday, the high is still firmly in charge of the South Island. It's a really big high, 1034 hectopascals. The low just to the north, the squash zone right over the North Island, continuing those southeasterly winds and the showers for that eastern side. And we get to Friday, really doesn't change. So the whole week ahead is pretty much drying out for the South Island once we get to about Tuesday. And then the North Island's got southeasterlies and showers for the eastern side and becoming dry for most other places. And then we get to Saturday and that low is finally moving to the east. It's quite a big low. Still got the southeasterlies, but the showers finally do start to move away. But Saturday is still another cool day for Hawke's Bay, Wider Upper, and Gisborne, and Wellington as well to some degree. But other areas, drier, sunnier, and the frosts may still be continuing around the south. And that's all from me. Enjoy your weekend, a week ahead, and the weekend coming up. Welcome to spring. It's already typically looking like spring. The weather is all over the place. That's all from me for today. Our next update at lunchtime on Tuesday.